All right, welcome back. This is Storm and Night Storm and Nights Gaming. I'm doing my stand boarding build video for the Stone Thorn patch. I am running six four points into Stam. I am a Nord. I'm running the Witch Sugar Skulls. I am running the Warrior Munda Stone. I have no tri potions on here left, but. You can run that. Uh, got problems with night blades. You can do use the essence of detection pots. Running sword of potentates and shield of potentates. This needs to be sturdy. Uh, this could be powered or nern honed. Your choice. There's a lot of night blades this patch, so I've been running the poisons as well to mark them and pull them out. You can run double dots if you feel like it. I do run a New Moon Two-Hander Maul, Nern Honed, Weapon Damage Enchantment. You can run Disease if you have problems finishing people. I run Blood Spawn when I'm solo. This is a 5 medium, 2 heavy build. Colonel Vigor. Running well fitted on 5 of them. In pin on 2, I think. Yeah. This one is the only one that isn't well fitted. The rest of them need to be. Uh, we are running three infused weapon damage enchantments. Um, heading into the skills. Rally, burst heal. Subterranean assault with next patch. This is going to be losing the fracture if I understood it correctly and it's going to be a recast ability so you're going to cast it once and it will recast on its own dealing this damage again growing swarm I know a lot of people use bird of prey I liked the extra pressure of the dot especially with the AOE adds eight percent anyway so you know it was a uh, easy choice D swing can be your main source of burst and stun and off balancing them executioner it's been hitting really hard this patch dawnbreaker is smiting i run werewolf back bar you can run temporal guard for the extra mitigation i like the extra stam regen personally dissolving vigor your main heal leeching vines i really just run this in bgs or in group if you are running solo, I would probably run like Lotus Flower, the uh, Green Lotus. Gives you a source of major savagery and it gives you the heal for every light and heavy attack. If you don't like neither of those, then go with Soothing Spore. And that can be your burst heal. Elude, if you have problems with snares, run Shuffle. This gives you major expedition though and major evasion ice fortress gives you a source of minor protection this is why i don't run temporal guard because it's already there so i'm already getting it bull natch gonna give you stam back and it's going to be taking a negative effect off of you every five seconds however if you cast this ability and spam it you'll take one ability off per time Healing Thicket is another back bar ult that you can run if you're in a group. Or Permafrost. Major Protection is going to be getting taken down to 10% next patch. So be aware, it will not be as effective. Arctic Blast you can put on instead of Leeching Vines or Shimmering Shield. Your choice, this build's very flexible, you can sustain a lot of it. Moving into CP. 70 Thor and the Warlord. 76 in Munka, 44 Tenacity. 11 Shadow Ward, 66 Tumbling. If you want more into Sturdy, go ahead. I roll dodge more than I block, so. 20 in Shattering Blows, 19 in Physical Weapon Expert, and 81 in Master at Arms, mainly shooting for the Tactician passive. 
31 Thermoturge for those growing swarm dot and does mix with the Donny dot. Size strikes. Piercing. You got 48 in there, 28 in precise strikes. 43 into mighty. 81 ironclad. 40 resistant. 66 thick skinned. 32 hardy. 32 elemental defender. I put a little less into here because a lot of people are running sheer venom and venomous smite. So dots are really brutal this patch. 19 into quick recovery. You can put a little bit more if, if you feel like it in there, but I feel like being a Nord with blood spawn on, that's just enough resistances to keep you up during no. this uh, proc meta. Other than that, um, I think that's about it. Um, Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe down below. Follow me on Twitch. I stream two weeks out of the month at 10 p.m. It's Storm of Night. That's my Stan Warden video.